Welcome back to another edition of the Senior Spotlight. I'm your host, Brady Beaton, joined by Senior Nico Mosley. Nico, you've been here a long time here at Wayne State. Let's talk about when you first got here. It was a while ago, but what was the recruitment process like, and what brought you to Detroit? What sold you on Wayne State? Um, mainly, I would say what brought me here I definitely, uh, I can start with saying the atmosphere, you know, um, started with uh, Coach Winters initially. Um, him and Coach Robinson, they showed me a, a lot of love coming in early. So, you know, that's definitely something most college kids look forward to, you know, coming into college. So that was a big part for me as well as I knew this was a place that I could, you know, come in early and see some time on the field. So, you know, after red shirt and kind of getting the feel for what was going on around here, you know, I was able to kind of give me a role on the field. And you played pretty early, and you got used to, obviously, you've been through the coaching transition. You got used to Coach Winters and his staff. Now Coach Wheatley's in. What was that transition like? Because it's something that, while you were one of the older guys in the locker room, nobody had been through this, so it was kind of un- uncharted waters for everyone. What was that transition like? Um, mainly, it was it, it was something new. I would say it was fresh for Wayne State. Definitely something that, I mean, in my personal opinion, something that we may have needed just to kind of something to change up um, around here a little bit. Um, the change per se for the coach, um, I definitely like Wheatley. Definitely a, a good coach, good guy. Um, it's a lot of things that you know he implements that are definitely important to everything that's going on here around Wayne State. So the change I wouldn't say was a, um, I guess you could say um, overall it just it was a it was a positive change if, in my opinion. So let's talk about your career. You've you, you've seen some good times. You've seen some not good times, and you're trying to get Wayne State back to where you know it can be. You're trying to help the next generation be one of those that shepherd it in. What's something you tell the young guys of? Hey, this is how you need to be successful. This is what you need to pass on so that Wayne State can be successful. Yeah, um, it's a million things I could tell the young guys, but uh, starting really is just. I'm pretty sure most of them hear it already. It's just once you get in, you know, don't take advantage of any time. That's mm-hmm. that's the biggest thing. You know, most of us, we get in here, we think we got time, and you look up and you're a senior like me. So it's like that's that's really my biggest point. Just don't waste any time. You know, get in the weight room, get stronger. You know, work on your skills, hone in on all your skills. So, you know, once it's your time and your number's call, you, you know, you'll be ready. What was one of the biggest things that you learned through all your time at Wayne State that, that you just didn't know of this about college football or you weren't sure, and now that you've been through the ringer a few times, that, that wisdom you have, what's something you learned? Don't come to any college football, any college program if you don't truly love the sport. Mm-hmm. This is something that you need to put your all into. If you, you know, you have second guess, second thoughts, this is definitely something that you need to sit down and really talk to yourself about that you know you want because if you try to give it just half or you know not the hundred percent that's needed on the field every day in workouts mm-hmm. in meetings film if you don't give that hundred percent you're not going to get the results that you think you deserve i know nico i mean you hit the nail right on the head how many guys did we see come through the locker room that were like hey it might be like high school you know i'm pretty good i'll just do it it'll be something i've always done and They don't last very long. People don't realize how much of a job this is and how much work you put in, and especially early in your career, for maybe 10 to 20 snaps a week. Yeah, it's definitely – this is something that I would say you have to really love this and you have to come in here and bring everything you have every time you walk in these locker rooms. All right, so football ends for everyone at some point. What is Nico going to be doing once he hangs up the cleats? Where are we going to see you out in the world? Um, definitely I'm going to for sure make sure my hands are on a few things, but mainly I see myself moving into a career within technology within the next uh, few months. Got a couple things I'm lining up, uh, you know, really as we speak and end towards this season. So definitely hoping to, you know, find myself in a great position when I'm done. So technology, that career can take you a whole lot of places. Do you want to try to stay in Metro Detroit or are you just going to go where the road takes you, wherever that might be? Like uh, like you and me both know, I am young, so, you know, wherever that road takes me, uh, I'm definitely open to going there. Uh, Detroit, definitely, you know, I've been down here a while. My whole family's down here as well, so, you know, I'm definitely comfortable staying here as well, but, you know, if the money costs, got to go. <laughs> 
Absolutely, Nico. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Good luck the rest of the year and stay healthy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You too. He's Nico Mosley. I'm Brady Beaton, and you're listening to Wayne State Warrior Football.